handle the rocks anymore and the dogs couldn't either. Um, it was still like a mile and a half to the next road crossing. So we bailed and went cross country and are now at the road. Unfortunately, there's no road crossing um, and there's a barbed wire fence. I had to throw my gear over that and crawl through and I wasn't thinking and forgot my solar panel was on the back and I think I killed it. So that's a bummer, but what can you do? So uh, I'm just happy to be the road. So now we can hopefully um, make some more miles before we set up camp for the night. couple weeks has just been the shortened days um, not just like from a mental standpoint because I, I will say that's definitely part of it is um, I've always been a summer person and I enjoy the long days and all that but from a hiking perspective it makes it really challenging to keep hiking the number of miles that we have been hiking with less daylight hours I know plenty of people night hike and stuff I've never really been a big night hiking person anyways just because I hate having to look for a campsite in the dark or whatever. Um, and I have a hard time getting myself up before the sun comes up. I just kind of follow the sun if you can't tell. Um, the other issue is just this time of year with the cold, as soon as the sun officially sets, the temperature drops like 10 degrees and just keeps going down. So um, I really don't have a strong desire to hike in the dark as much as I can avoid it. That being said, that means we have a limited number of hours to walk during the daytime. And if our pace stays the same, that means that the number of miles we're hiking just shrinks and shrinks and shrinks and shrinks. Um, so it feels like a marathon. It's like as soon as the sun comes up, it's like, all right, let's go. You know, ready, set, go. And while yes, I can like decrease the number of miles we walk, sometimes that doesn't always work. So I was all ready to do like 15 mile days for this whole stretch. And then I realized that I'm not so sure if the Pie Town Post Office is open on Saturdays, which means we need to get there on Friday, which means that we have to keep doing 20 mile days in order to make that happen. So we're all a little tired. It's only 5.20 and it's already getting dark. The good news is I guess we get to sleep a lot at night. It's just condensing everything. But yeah, so that's I guess one thing about hiking later in the season, especially for us since we're slower, is just the logistics of less daylight. Whether you want to combat that by hiking faster during the day and taking less breaks or night hiking I guess it's a personal choice, but I'm ready for bed now. <laughs> no, that's not right. I got so loud. 